Hello, it's uh, New Year's Day, and of course I'm going to be busy cooking here, and so uh, I'm going to attempt to make this cheesecake. I've never made one in the foodie before, so I'm going to give it a try. But here's what you're going to need if you, you do it like this. You're going to need, I, I'm using this uh, spring form pan, and I've got two eggs in this bowl here. Of course, you got to have this cup of coffee here, and you got the mixer back there. And I'm using parchment paper. I'm, I'm going to use, I ordered these uh, little rounds of uh, parchment paper. You get 109 inch in there, and we'll still try to put it on the bottom and fold it over and see if this spring will fold up around it. So, anyway, and uh, if it works, it works, and if it don't, we won't use it, I guess. So, anyway, now I'll use this Nabisco ground crackers here. I'm going to use this Land of Lakes Butter, I'm going to use a, a McCormick Vanilla Extract, Pure Vanilla Extract. I'm going to use, i got some brown cheese back here. Y'all can see that. Anyway, it fell over again. Brown cheese. And then cornstarch, regular granulated sugar, and uh, last but not least, sour cream. Oh yeah, and the most important thing is of course the ninja foodie so let's get started okay now this box half of it come with nine of these uh, wafers here in it and so I took and put them on one of my flexible cutting boards here and I put a piece of uh, clean wrap on top and now I'm going to break them up hopefully I know this is a primitive way to do it, but hey, use what you got, you know. And anyway, I'm not going to bore y'all watching me do this, so I'll be back in a second when I finish. Now before I go any further, I want to put this piece of parchment paper over the bottom of this uh, spring form pan here. And we'll try just to set the top right down on top of it. Mash it down all the way around so I know it's down and I'm going to tighten up the spring on that. And lo and behold it works perfect. As you can see now that's in there. No wrinkles in the bottom of it or nothing. So huh. if everything goes that easy the rest of the day I'll be in good shape. <laughs> One ingredient I left out a while ago is my palm here. I'm going to take and uh, really coat the inside of this pretty good with this Pam because I've seen these people have a lot of hard times getting that cake out of there. So and we'll do that next. Okay, now I'm going to take this, uh, uh, however how many ounces it was, well, I'll tell you, four tablespoons of butter, this Land Lakes butter, and we'll put it in this uh, dish here because we'll put it in the microwave just for a minute and heat it up <clears throat> so we can mix it. Okay, now let me see if I can get this uh, brown crackers in this uh, bowl without making a big mess. That's what I love about these flexible cutting boards here. You can do stuff like this. Pour them right in there. Oh yeah, it looks nice. That looks nice. Yeah. Discard that. Put this in here. And now I'm going to try to stir it up here. crackers but it's all starting to come together now. I see it. Oh yes I will look a voice now. Mm. 
But these ground crackers said, hey, I was in good shape and you just busted me up and now you want me to go back together again. It's not really glass, it's the other stuff. I'm going to mash it down. And that's leaving little circles in the bottom, so I don't know if I like that or not. I might have to do something different on this. That little, little circles don't hurt anything. But it'll really be flat. tapping it on top here and that's getting rid of just about all those circles and stuff like that. So that looks pretty good after all. So now we'll put this in the freezer while I mix the rest of that stuff and then we'll come back and pour it in there. So and get cold for a little bit. Okay, now I've got these two 8-ounce containers of uh, Philadelphia cream cheese here. And we'll put them in this bowl next and mix them up. Okay, get them open like that and just put them right down in the bowl like this. Now we've got another one to open here. And they make this pretty convenient for you here. It says open along the center line uh, seam at the uh, end so you just uh, grab a hold of it. I did the other one real simple maybe I can you think it'd be real simple two times in a row? Probably not. <laughs> but, but anyway there it comes. Opens right up. And we'll dump that one in there. Scrape a little bit more of it off. I don't want to waste too much of it. I don't want to waste any of it. Now, set this aside for a minute. According to this recipe I found online here, it says to uh, take put it in the bowl and then mix it up until it's nice and creamy. Well, that's a little tough to mix without anything in it. Okay, now I'm going to put in my uh, granulated sugar. We'll put two tablespoons of uh, cornstarch here. We'll put two sp teaspoons of this uh, vanilla extract here. Y'all can see it. I know I, that's one and that's two. That's plenty of that. Now, so add one egg at a time. So I'll add this one. I'll start seeing if I can get that bad boy to whip up a little bit here. Rest 
just a second. Yeah, that looks good like that, don't it? <laughs> now, I've got my uh, ground crafters out of the oven. Got where I was out of a whole different world. <laughs> okay, got my ground, ground crackers out of the freezer. Now we'll pour this uh, mix in there on top of it. I'll tell you what, that looks better and better. Every time I look at it, it looks better. And don't forget now, I sprayed down the, the bottom and the sides of this pan with my Pam. Spread this out just a little bit here. Okay. That looks good enough to eat already. I hope it looks that good when I take it out to eat. <laughs> Now I'm going to put, uh, we'll take this crisper basket out of the uh, Ninja Foodie here, set it aside, and we'll take and put one cup of water in the Ninja. And then we'll take this trivet that came with the uh, Ninja Foodie and set it down inside here. Take this pan and set it down right inside of it. I'm sort of awkward to do stuff because I try to stay out of y'all's way so you can see what I'm doing at the same time. Now, I'm going to shut the lid. No, I'm not. I've got to put on the other lid. Hold on. Now, I've come to my senses. You need your pressure lid. And this always goes into the back of the machine. Line your arrows up in front when you sit down on it. And when it goes down like that, there you go, it's all the way down, all the way around, and you turn it clockwise to it locks. Make sure you turn this valve back here to the to the seal position. Because if you don't, it never will build up steam and cook for you. And now we're going to turn on the power. And we're going to set for pressure. And we'll set the time at 27 minutes. And then we'll go ahead hit the start button. Okay, and there it goes around and around like that. Now you notice I've uh, let me get it where I can see what you what I'm doing. Now you notice when I was messing with that just a minute ago, you heard this thing jiggling around like that stuff. Now once it builds up pressure. And this little knob right here pops up, this little red button pops up, then you won't be able to uh, jiggle it around like that anymore. So it's going to take us about uh, seven or eight minutes before it pops up, so we'll be back. Okay, now the little red button just popped up, and so any second now it'll start uh, counting down on the time. Okay, it should do it any second now. I keep saying that. Any second now. <laughs> there it goes. We've got 26 minutes and 55 seconds left. So we'll be back. You know, when I was, uh, I was just now checking my, what I had done on this video, and I noticed for some reason it didn't show my uh, sour cream I put in. I don't know what happened to the camera, but anyway, when you're cooking this, try to put in a half a cup of sour cream. It makes you go along. It might be a little bit better. I don't know if it would be or not, but anyway, I forgot to show it when I did it. So, or I didn't forget to show it. I don't know what happened. My bad.
Anyway, after that, if you can, give me a thumbs up and join my channel. I sure would appreciate it. And thank all you people for watching my videos and giving me a thumbs up and joining my channel. It means a lot when y'all join my channel. So, hope you enjoy this one. I hope this cake looks good when it comes out. Okay, we're getting close now. We're down to 10 minutes. So as soon as this, I mean 10 seconds, as soon as this finishes, I'm going to, uh, it'll stop like that and beep. And now the next thing I'm going to do is to come up here and release the pressure on this thing. Turn it over to your right, or my right, or it's right, from there to there. And it'll start letting off steam. Now usually this takes about two, two and a half minutes to do this. So, we'll Alright, the steam is about gone. It's been venting now for two minutes and uh, seven seconds. And so, any second now, that little red button should pop down. And uh, as soon as it does, we'll open the lid and see what we got in there. Hope it's not a complete disaster. And there it goes. <laughs> okay, you turn the lid counterclockwise. It'll beep like that. And you pick it up. Oh, that looks good. Now all I gotta do is get it out without hurting myself. <laughs> okay, now I think I'm about ready to try to get it out and pick up like this on it. Oh, set it over here like this. And take my mitts. I know you can't see very well. I'm gonna have to get me another camera stand or a cameraman or something here. Take and hold it on the side like this so it don't burn you. Set it down right here on that mat. Now we'll mix up some, uh, you know everybody says you get water on top of it when you pressure cook it. But I sure don't see any water on that one. But uh, I'll look a little closer just to make sure. But anyway, now I want to mix up some topping for it. Now to make this topping, I'm just going to put two tablespoons of uh, sour cream in this bowl. Look a little healthy, no? <laughs> and then I'm going to put two teaspoons of sugar in there. No more sugar than I have to. So, leave that just like that for a second. Get a whisk. Stir it up a little bit here. I'll spread this out on here if I can. Oh well, I'm going to move the camera so you can see where I'm going here. There you go. Look like very much, does it? But we'll make do with that. Probably we'll gonna add something else too. You know, I like to have my secret ingredient for the end. Although it's not really a secret, you see it all the time. But let me spread this out some as good as I can here. That looks pretty good. I can't wait to get into this thing. Okay, spread this all out. Smooth it out as much as I can. That looks pretty good right there, although I wish I had to put about twice as much in there, but we'll see. Now, Take my strawberries here. Sort of 
place them on here. I think that's about enough. Pan ain't so big. So there. Now I'm going to take it and put it in the refrigerator. I'll leave it in the refrigerator for four hours. And it's about hmm, one o'clock already. So about four o'clock I'll be taking it out and see if we can get into it. We'll be back. Okay, it's been four hours. And it's four o'clock, so Let's get into this thing just to see oh, what it's going to be. Like. I'm going to run this uh, fillet knife around the edge of it. I'm going to try to. Of course, it looks like it's pulled away some. But it's not pulled away all the way, I don't think. I'm just going to don't want to pull it apart that, that much. Keep it right up against the edge. Go all the way around. Now, I'll turn this thing around where I can get a hold of that latch there. Okay, now we'll undo the spring. Gently. <laughs> oh, hey, nothing to that. Let's <laughs> come right off of there. <laughs> now, for my next trick, is figure out how to get it off of this uh, parchment paper. And I don't even know if I want to get it off the parchment paper. I need to get it off the bottom of the uh, check pan, though. Or I guess I could just uh, serve it and cut it with it right on there. Yeah, we'll call this going to stay on there pretty good. Oh, there's be a little opening. See, I know. There it is. Now, that's a beautiful looking cake. <laughs> I do say so myself. So, there. Now, let's try a little piece of it. Okay, let's go. Cool. Cut a little bit here, right through that strawberry like that. here. Don't want a big piece. Too close to dinner time. Like that. Hmm. Ah, almost messed up. <laughs> there you see it. Now let's see how it is. Here. Hmm. Now some good stuff right there, ladies and gentlemen. I reckon I bought my last cheesecake out of the store. That's delicious. <laughs> So, thanks again for watching my videos. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoy making them for you. And come back and see me real soon because I hope to have another one for you real soon. So, until next time, y'all have a real good day and Happy New Year. And have a piece of cheesecake. Goodbye now. You couldn't see your.